In table one below is a list of explanations and definitions of concepts used in mathematical literacy. Table one explanations and definitions of concepts. A, the distance from the center of a circle to the outer part of the circle. B, the usage of cardinal direction, i.e. north, south, east, west, to describe the location of one point to another. C, the path, the path or boundary that surrounds a circular object or surface. D, a position in which is not exact, but roughly shows the location of an object. E, a measure of body fat based on the height and, waist, and weight of an adult person. A, the total area of all surfaces of a 3D shaped object. G, a special type of diagram used to determine the outcomes of an event in probability examples. H, arrangement of some, something laid out such as a structure feature uh, such as the structure features of a mall i the ratio of the distance in real life compared to the distance on the map on the same distance of the map the rate of covering a certain distance over time when we just look here mere mere looking at this when you're answering this has to be this is speed because we have distance and time. And remember, this is at a rate. A ratio, this is supposed to be a scale. Arrangement, this is the same as a layout in a form of a flow, flow plan. A special type of diagram, this is called a tree. This is a tree diagram. This is surface area. That surface area. A measure of body, this is supposed to be B, M, I. A position which is not exact but roughly shows the location of an object. This could be general direction. General direction. Um, the path of this is supposed to be circumference because we are looking at a circular shape. So here we have circum, circumference. There we go, using also this one here is uh, to describe the location of one point to another. Uh, it can be root description, root description, or we can say general, general, no direction. The distance from the center, from the center of a circle to the outer part of the circle is supposed to be the radius supposed to be the radius anyway let's look at the question here they say use the information above to write down the later of the explanation or definition a to j for each of the following concepts bmi we've already seen it as e circumference We've seen it as C, the path around this circumference. E was BMI. Then the map scale, it's I. Campus direction, this could be B, you know, direction. And the tree diagram, we've seen it as G. Possible outcomes in probability. 1.2. Use an extra A. An extra A shows the layout of a vegetable garden with different plants, plant beds, as well as table 2, which shows plants with their pattern plants. Use an extra A to answer the questions that follow. Let's see an extra.
All right, this is the next chair here yeah, that we have. And the question is, identify three plants that have cabbage as a pattern. So we shall come here and look for cabbage. We have cabbage one, cabbage two, cabbage three. Do we have any other cabbage anyway? So these are the plants. We have potatoes, onions, and cucumber. So our answer there becomes we have four potatoes, cucumber, and onions. Tell me the number of uh, partner. Tell me the tell me the number of partners partners of plants found in bed four of the vegetable garden. Vegetable garden. Let's look at the next chapter. It says bed four. Bed four. These are onions. So determine the number of pattern beds found in bed four. So the, if these are the onions. Number we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the answer there is supposed to be six. We are determining the number of pattern plants. So it said six patterns of the plant. Name the pattern I planned, which appears four times in the pattern columns. Name. Name. Name the plant that appears in the pattern columns. These are the columns, these ones. These are columns. That appears four times. Uh, when we take note here, we look at uh, number one here we have. I mean, look, we have meat. Is there any other meat somewhere else? It's nothing. We have uh, herbs. Uh, we have any other herbs around here? Nothing. Dale, we are, don't, don't have any. So we have, let's look at, we have, here we have beans. Come down here, we have beans. Four times we have beans. And we have beans. So beans appear four times. Someone would have said, because if you check corn, that's three times. Cabbage, we saw it already, it's, four, uh, it's three times. Peas. Peas are twice. Mm. Let us, let us, let us, let us, it's say. Twice, hmm. tomatoes, it's once, very once, Rad radish, one, eh, twice, it's twice, drill, it's twice, squash, squash is once, onion is once, beetroot, it's uh, twice, You see, which one appears four times? Meat is once. So that appears four times. Is These are beans. I have the answer there as beans. Give the general direction of such room onions in the vegetable garden. It's sage from onions. We shall check the sage. Garden one. From garden four, from so meaning you're here and you're heading heading this other side. But take note, look at the compass direction. Say that this other side is the north, so this is your north. North. Simply means this is north. This is what west. This is south, 
and this is what east so your answer there has to be east 1.2.5 some of the plant beds in the vegetable garden contain more than one type of plant right down the bed number of these plants we have let's come here let's see bed numbers so when you come here we have three three has tomatoes okay and other greens then we come to seven it has okra and the tomatoes no any other so we go in and we say Page three and seven. All right, the sketch below shows a pedo, pedestal and a diagram of the pedestal with its dimensions. The pedestal can be used as a stable plant stand. Oh, an extra seat. All right, then they are saying, uh, by the way, which shape does it take? It takes a cylinder, a cylindrical shape. It's a cylindrical shape. So choose a formula A, B, or C below, which can be used to calculate volume of the pedestal. Remember, you said it's a, a cylinder, and in your head, you know, uh volume equals to base area times the given height this is the general formula for volume so the base area of this cylindrical is a circle so we you need to look for pi r squared h so you come here volume of a cylinder over cylinder equals to pi r squared so we shall come here and look for which volume this one here no which one this two pi, no my formula does it have two so volume will equals to this then this is the right answer so the answer here is supposed to be c we have one uh, one point three point to write down the unit of measurement for the volume of the spindle using the given units in the diagram. Remember, they said write down the units of measurements of volume, 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 volume. For area, the units have to be squared. Volume units have to be cubed. Whereas perimeter units remain the same. So they are saying write down the units of volume for the pedestal using the given unit in the diagram. So the units that we see in the diagram, they were millimeters. So still here we shall write millimeters cubed. Don't forget that because you're looking for units of volume. Convert the height of the pedestal to meters. When you look at it very clearly, we have the height being 124 millimeters. So, 124 millimeters, we want them to become meters. Remember very well that millimeters are the same, uh, to change millimeters to meters, this is small to B, we shall need to, we need to divide, together. So, we divide by a thousand. So we shall also come here, we divide this by a thousand. And the answer becomes 0 0.124 meters. That's the answer there. We've changed the pedestal, sorry, the, uh, the height to meters. All right. We look at question number two. Question number two. We are also looking at our next chapter.
Question number 2.1, they tell us to look at an exture B. An exture B, an exture B, an exture B. Let's go there and you see how it looks like. This is the exture. So we are looking at this. This uh, An exture B is about assembling an item. Right light, sorry, ring light. These are the items that they're going to assemble. And then we have a tripod, a uh, pan to lead, then a pan to lead again, uh, then we have a, a, a cell phone holder. All right, these are some of the directions given. These are the some instructions given. Then some instructions are missing, like one, two, and three. So this one here, it shows that the, uh, the, the this is how it will look like after the fine, uh, after being assembled. All right, let's go to the questions and receive the question that they want us to do. Tell me the total number of items needed to assemble the ring light. We go there and we see we count them. Total number of items. Here we have one, we have two, three, four. Please, we don't count the cell phone because we don't see anything else. We just have a cell phone hold. All right, then the answer there becomes, there are five items, sorry. We have five. Identify in the list the item that will be used as a ring stand. The item that will be used as a ring stand. We go back here. This is a ring light itself this is a tripod this is a these are too small to be stands so it's number two which is called the tripod the reason why it's called a tripod because it has three legs so here we shall write try it's a tripod is the direction of the arrow in the diagram b clockwise or anti-clockwise so we can be diagram B. There's a small there's, there's, there's a small direction if you can't see it. Look at the arrow. The arrow goes that other direction. The person turns around like, from he turns from right to left. Together. So if you want to know whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. You need to know how does the wall clock move. The wall clock moves this other direction, like this. So also this one here. Imagine this clock was here. So look at it. So the answer here is supposed to be clockwise. It's clock. Clockwise. Match the following instructions with the correct picture. F, G, O, H. Clamp the cell phone to the cell phone holder. Let's go there and we see. Clamp the cell phone to the cell phone holder. Clamp the cell phone to the cell phone holder. It's what? H. This is the phone being clamped inside here. See that? So, let's see. H. Install the tripod on the pan tail and rotate until tightened. Install the tripod. So we are looking for the tripod and the pan tail. Let's go there and we say tripod and the and remember we are looking for either we, we, we are using these options. We have these ones that are missing. This is already taken now. And this one. So of these two diagrams, which one has a tripod? So it's what? It's G. Why? I'm taking G because it has what? A tripod, and remember, they I was looking for a tripod and a pant tail. So it's this one here, and this is the tripod. Okay, let's go there and you see. So it's supposed to be G. So F is nowhere to be seen. Anyway, let's continue. Use the given scale. To determine the distance on the wall map, if the real distance is 
65 kilometers. All right, the scale given to us is a number scale, or someone can call it a ratio scale. And it simply means if you have one unit on paper, it equals to 250,000 units in real life. So we are looking, so we have both, uh, guys, I'm answering question number 2.2.1. We are using using the scale. So this simply means I need uh, the scale is one. It's two hundred and one fifty. Two hundred and fifty. So yes, on paper we don't know how much it is. Let's call it H. Then in real life, it's sixty five. Sixty five. Kilometers sixty five kilometers. All right. Uh, the question says uh, we need to change the five sixty five kilometers to measurements in real uh, on on wall wall map. But the measurements here are either millimeters or centimeters. So we shall have to change the kilometers. One of them. Let me change them to millimeters to make sense. So if I'm to change kilometers to millimeters, I need to multiply by a million. So let me simply meaning. So they are longer kilometers equals to H. If one gives me this, what will give me this? One gives me 250,000. What about which number will give me 600? Sorry. Which number will give me 65 million? So I will need to come and say the number has to be 65, sorry, 65 million divided by 250,000. <laughs> So here yeah, the answer we have is a 260 millimeters. Those ones will use the centimeters, you'll have 26 centimeters. This is question number 2.2.1. They're asking us in 2.2.2, name one type of scale used on the map. Now this one we've already seen it. Numeric. It's a name 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 one other type. So the other type of scale that we know of the popular one is the what? The bar scale. You can't go beyond that. All right, let's look at the other question. 2.3. Here we have the diagram. A mathematical literacy teacher collected mm -hmm. 36 reams of paper from her learners. Shown below is a picture and the diagram with the dimensions of the ream of paper. All right. The teacher intends to the teacher intends parking the reams of paper in a secure cabinet as shown in the picture along alongside the diagram so the dimensions of the maximum space on one shelf is a hundred and two centimeters long 44 centimeters wide and 39 centimeters high so show with calculations that all rims of paper collected can fit on one shelf of cabinet one shelf of cabinet. So what you're going to do, this is called packaging. What you're going to do, you're going to look for how many rims will fit on the long side. How many rims will fit on the long side? So on the long side, we shall say it's the length of the shelf because it's big divided by the length of the 
So the length of the show is 120 centimeters divided by 27,94. So we have the answers 3,65. Please, when you're rounding off this, we cannot say it's four. So here we, we, we are looking at four rims. We can't have a half a rim. So we shall say three rims on the long side. What about the width, which is the short side? Short side simply meaning the width of the shelf divided by the width of the rim, which equals two. 39, sorry, yeah, 39 centimeters divided by 21 comma, 39 divided by 21 comma, 21, comma. width of the shelf divided by the, sorry, 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 sorry. The width of the shelf is 44, it's not 39. And we get 2,04. Remember, we don't have half rims, so these are two rims that we need. And the height of the shelf divided by the height of the rim, which becomes Height of the shelf divided by the height of the rim, which becomes 39 divided by 6,35. So we shall need six rims, oh, sorry, six layers. These are six layers. So all in all, if we have three rims on the long side by two, those are six rims in six layers. Each layer has six. It will be 36. Indeed, 36 mm -hmm. rims will fit. Mm -hmm. Show with calculations that all the rims of the paper collected can fit on one, can fit on one shelf of the cabinet. So the, if one shelf of the cabinet Give one reason why a teacher this is for security. You can put your to keep them safe for security what? Reasons not for them to be stolen. Number two for easy management. Because you know who picked, who gave you permission, you understand. All right. Question number three. We already looked at question number one and two. We've already looked at question number one and two. Let's look at question number three. Question number three says, we not bought a house. we not bought a house. Two of the walls in one of the bedrooms were not plastered. The dimensions of the floor of this bedroom are four meters by three meters. As shown in the diagram below with a wall height of 2,75 meters. And that intends having a wall plastered. Not plastered means that the walls are not coated with sand and cement mixture to create a smooth wall surface. In other words, the bricks are still visible. You see the visible the bricks the way they are. All right, on the left-hand side, we have the diagram showing the bedroom. With dimensions and then on the right hand side you see the picture these are the walls that are missing all right the unplastered wall they tell us packet in meters squared the total surface area of the two walls that will need to be plastered now take note of here uh the walls are shown in the walls the walls are shown in this small diagram here the walls are shown in this small diagram, whereby we have this wall here, 
this wall here this is wall one wall two remember we are looking at walls we are not looking at the floor so the area of the wall i will name them area of wall one what will it be it should be area i said area of wall one will be 3,5 times the height of the wall not times the length of the bedroom times the height because the wall stands so remember the height it was 2 7,5 remember that in the scenario so this is wall one which will be 3,5 times 7,5 times 2,75, sorry, times 2,75, you get the answer as 9,62, don't forget, these are meters squared, but this is not the end, we are looking for the total surface area of the two walls, so, so far I've got area of wall one, let me do for all wall two, still it will be because they're rectangular it's, it's l times b so the wall that's remaining is sorry it's uh the length which is four comma four comma eight meters still times the height we take it to be we take it to be uh to be this on the same same level so here we go, we give the answers 13,2 meters squared. So at the end, you're going to add the two, and your answer became 22,82 meters squared. The plus on the walls has a uniform thickness of 12 millimeters. Determine in centimeters cubed the volume of plaster required to plaster these two walls remember yeah volume equals to the area of the wall times the thickness the area of the wall is in meters squared we need to change the meters squared to centimeters squared and we need to change the thickness from meters to centimeters why am i changing centimeters because they want the final answer to be in so i'll start with the area which is 22,2 these are meters squared so for meters to centimeters squared we multiply by 100 squared times we are multiplying now 12 12 is the uh, millimeters we need it to become centimeters we divide by 10 so here, this one here, we get it as, all right, uh, this is what we mean by this. Oh, someone else would have looked for the area back in centimeters until you get the answer here. But the easiest is this one here. Or if you don't know what to do here, you don't know what to do. You'll need, so you remember we said uh, area of wall one, change the, uh, change the, change the length into, sorry, the measure, uh, the, change the measurements or the dimensions into centimeters. So at first wall one, we said it was 3,5 meters. Change this to centimeters. Let's change 3,5 times 100, we get 35. You get here redundant. So change the height. Change the height, this becomes 275. These are centimeters. Come over here. 
2.75 का मुबाही है Uh, the other one is 4,8 times 100. Remember, we are changing from, uh, from meters to centimeters. You get 400 and what? 80. These are centimeters. Why am I changing to centimeters? Because they want to answer any centimeters cubed. So, so we come back here and we say that the first one will be 300. We are saying the first one is 350 times 275. 350 times 275 is 96,225. These are centimeters squared. Look for the area of wall to which we said. 400 also times 275 you get these are centimeters squared so the total area So area will be area of wall one plus area of wall two. So we, when we add the 96,250 plus 132,000, we end up having 200, sorry, 222,000. 250. Here it's a different answer because we rounded off. We rounded off. Okay, so this is the area in centimeters what? squared. So let's change the thickness. Change the thickness. To centimeters whereby you get 12 millimeters divided by 10 you get 1,2 these are centimeters so now your volume would equal to so this is your volume centimeters cubed by max this is when someone changes the measurements the measurements that we have already here we change this to centimeters change this to centimeters which is 3,5 times 100 or comma 8 times 100 centimeters all right that is it Okay, 3.1.3. 3.1.3 says, 3.1.3 says, it says, uh, the ready mixture plus size available in the bags. One bag is needed for every uh, 15,000 centimeters cubed. Determine the minimum number of bags needed to plaster the two walls. Remember, we've just looked for the volume. So volume of the plaster. Plaster divided by the volume. One bag. So the volume for the cluster is just 
if you just go to it as Two hundred seventy three thousand nine hundred thirty seven centimeters cubed divided by fifteen thousand. You get your answer as eighteen comma two six. This simply means they need nineteen bugs. Why? Uh someone might say that two is two here and yet we round or usually round up when this is more than four so the reason uh, there's a way i'm rounding up it means the person needs 18 full bags with part of another so where will you get this part of it when they don't sell in half bags so they need another full bag however they won't use it fully they will use part of it that's why she needs or he needs to buy in 19 bags Determine the minimum number of bugs needed to cluster the two walls. 19 bugs. One auntie would also like to have all the old connects in the bedroom where, where the four walls meet, meet the CD, replaced. Now, take note. The connects, the connects, the connects, the connects. The conics, the conics are these white, these ones are ceilings at their places. You have that white part that um, holds the ceiling. It's between the ceiling and the wall. Either. So they need to replace them. In other words, they want, because now uh, here it will be direct perimeter. It will be perimeter, which will be perimeter. To, okay, so it's already given here. So remember, it it covers the same, it covers this, uh, like the measurements of the room, the flow of the room. So right. So here it says we're not to like uh, they never told you to change anything. So you leave them in the units that they are in. So the length we see it as four comma eight plus the width which is three comma five. Do that for me. So perimeter we go to two into four comma eight plus three comma five two into four comma eight plus three comma five and your answer becomes sixteen comma six don't forget the units sixteen comma six meters meters this is perimeter At the store, there are five available brands. Unfortunately, not to forget the name of the specific brand. If she randomly selects one of the available brands, determine the probability that she will select a specific brand. So out of the five, out of the five brands, it's one out of five. They said probability. So if you do stop it, it's fine. Or if you go ahead and show that it's this much, it's fine. Even those ones who show that's the answer becomes don't forget to put the 20%. All right. Um, 3. Point, sorry, 3.2.2. There is a 0 0.75 probability that the dumpers will appear if the incorrect um, brand of the ready mix cluster is used. The time the probability that the dumpers will not appear if the incorrect ready mixture is used. This is straightforward also. If 0 0.7 this is positive. What's, what, 
what remaining to make it negative is 0, 0,25. So a bit here it's 1 minus 0, comma, and the answer becomes 0, 0,25. The probability, the probability scale below shows the likelihood for various probability. Write down the likelihood that best describes your answer given in or given to question number 3.2.2, .2, which is 0, 0, 0,2. Hmm? The answer is 0, 0,25. 0, 0,25 is 0, because this is 0, 0, 0%. We have 0, 0,25. Have 0,5, have 0,75, and it goes on. So, probability, this is where it is. It's less, less likely, it's likely. Question three point question number three point three point one says determine the time that will not must start mixing the first bag of the ready mix cluster if she wants this bag to be ready for use at five past eight. All right, we're going to analyze how much time do we need. Mix the water and the plaster for four minutes. This is the first time that we have. Do not over mix. Allow the mixture to stand. You're, you're going, you're going, you need three minutes more. Then mix again for two minutes. So all in all, you have around nine minutes. You have nine minutes. Now, if you want uh, the mixture to be ready by zero, uh, sorry, five past eight, simply meaning you're going to come to, uh, five past eight minus the nine minutes, which is so he has to start at seven fifty, seven fifty six. Oh, you can do it this way. Of this time, subtract the four minutes. We remain with eight. One past eight. Of one, uh, one past eight, subtract the three minutes. You will find out that you have seven. Mm, seven fifty-eight of the eight minutes. Subtract the two minutes. You end up having. 7.56. If it, this was in the morning, no one plus does that. Okay, you can plus at night, but it's rare. Uh, calculate the rounded, uh, calculate rounded to two decimal places. How many gallons of water will she will use to mix five bags of plaster if one gallon equals to this much? Let's go back to analysis here. It says we need seven liters of water. 40 kg bag that means it's one bag needs seven liters if one bag needs seven liters what about five how much liters do they need so it will be five times seven which equals to 35 what liters we don't want this in liters we want it in gallons so we shall divide this by Thirty-five divided by three comma seven eight five four one. So he needs approximately nine comma two five. It's set to two decimal places. Two five. These are what? Gallons. Okay, there we go. This one needs four max. I was wondering why, but you look at the formula, it's a little bit com uh, incomplete. You need to know because we need to make see the subject. 
substitute um you already have the f as 73 comma 74 substitute you get 73 comma 74 minus 32 equals to 1 comma 8 times what c so because you want the c divide through by 1 comma 8 on both sides divide through by 1 comma 8 for both sides when you subtract you have 41 comma 4 over 1 comma 8 equals to c so the answer here became 23 degrees celsius centigrade look at question number four the layout plan, the layout plan of the resort is shown below. The resort has a rectangular swimming pool and a tennis court. There is an overgrown area in the middle of the resort where local wildlife can be viewed from the lookout point. The area is surrounded by houses. First question says, determine the total number of houses in this holiday resort. Houses, houses, they look like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have twelve. We shall say we have two houses. A person standing at the lookout point facing north views houses that are in the northwesterly direction. Give give the number of two houses viewed. All right, let's look at the campus. Look at the campus, how it's facing. It's like it shows that this is what? No, if it's like that. And this is east, this is west, this is that. So someone is seeing. So the person is here. So it's supposed to be house two and three. House one and two, sorry. House one and the two. Four point two point one. The owner of the old resort plans to build a cylindrical pool. The picture below shows the existing rectangular swimming pool and a cylindrical swimming pool which the owner plan to build are they? Give one reason why you think the cylindrical pool is designed for small children. It's not, it's not that deep. It's one meter deep. Whereas this is 1,6 centimeters, 5 centimeters deep. Explain the meaning of the capacity. Capacity, we are saying amount of substance an object. An object can contain. amount of substance an object can contain. When you look at an object, we are looking at a container. You look at a container. Okay, you may use the following formula. The are saying calculate rounded to the nearest liter, the difference in volume of the two swimming pools, different liters, but they have given us 
volume. They didn't give us for me. Anyway, let's look at that. So cylindrical is the first one to say volume equals two pi r squared h, which is three comma one four two times what's our radius? Now when you come here, we say we are given the diameter. Diameter, you need the radius, you get the diameter divided by two, which is three comma seven. So we come back here and you say three comma five squared times the height, which is already what? One. Don't forget to square. So here we have 38 comma eight nine five. These are it has cubed, put them aside. And they said, uh, we are, remember you're looking for the difference is the the subtraction between the volume of the two swimming pools. So the other volume is uh, L times B times H, which is six comma two times three comma two five times one comma six five. So here we have 33 comma two four five meters cubed. Subtract the two, we end up having end up having five comma two four two these are meters right but the question wants you to round off the nearest liters and they have told you that if you only have one meter cubed you have a thousand liters so let's multiply the ABC times thousand yeah the answer becomes five thousand two hundred forty two Liters. Okay, the little inner area of the surface of the cylindrical will be tiled. An additional 10% tile was purchased. Give one reason why additional tiles were purchased. You can say, or oh, cuttings. You know, tiles are cut. All right, to cater for cuttings. Another thing to cater for breakage when it breaks. The tailor states that he requires more than a hundred boxes of tiles to complete the tiling. Verify, verify showing all calculations where the statement is valid. All right. Uh, shall use the formula that we have here. I'm doing question number 4.2. Part B. First and foremost, we shall look for the area whereby we shall say 3, 142, which is the pi times the radius. We've already seen it as 3,5. Into brackets, three comma five plus two times the depth. So there we go. We have three comma one four two times three comma five, uh, which is ten nine nine seven times. Fifty-five. So this is 
60,8435. These are meters what? squared. Meters squared. So, meters squared, uh, remember, remember we have, uh, okay, that's the area to be covered. Then, for you to find out the number of tiles to be used, we shall get area to be covered divided by the area of only one tile. So we shall get the 60 divided by 10 over. Look at the measurements for the tiles, 20 centimeters, and so change it to meters, which is 0, 0,2 times 0, 0,2 So we have this much, 0, 0,8. Remember, these are tiles. So meaning you will need tiles. Then the boxes, how many will they have? Each box carries 16. So this stands at 96. But remember, he has to cater for 10% purchase more, additional 10%. So we multiply by 1,1. 1, 1. Correct. This is more than more than more than more than the more than the boxes in the scenario. All right, um, 4.2, the steps you need to know. One, look for the area to be covered. And the surface area of an open cylinder. Then look for the area of only one tile. You divide the two, you get the number of tiles. Number of tiles. Multiply or increase it by 10%, which is the same as 100 plus 10 divided by 100. So this, here you get the number of tiles. Then afterwards, pack them in boxes. So you divide by 16 because each box carries 16 tiles. Look at that scenario here. 
I'll go through it again. Area to be covered, area to be covered. This is the area for the cylindrical, cylindrical swimming pool. So we shall start with this formula here, which will say 3,142. Times, remember the radius, we got it as 3,5 into bracket 3,5 plus 2 times depth, which is already as 1. So here we go on and we say, we go to this, we go to this as Ten comma nine nine seven. Since there's no symbol here, put a multiplication sign times fifty. Sorry, times five comma five, which we get as sixty. Please take note. These are these are not tiles. This is this is the area to be covered first. Then let's look for the area of one tile. But take note: the measurements for it's twenty centimeters by twenty centimeters. They have to be in meters. So divide by a hundred. Divide by a hundred which is the same as 0, 0,2 times 0, 0,2, which is the same as 0. So also now this qualifies to be meter squared. So we look for the number of tiles now, which is the area to be covered divided by area of only one tile. So here becomes 60,4835 divided by 0, Whereby you get the number of tiles will be 1.5, which is 1,500 of tiles, comma, 0, 0,9. So from this moment, we increase because they said an increase of 10%, an additional. So we multiply by 10 over 100 plus. So you end up having the answers. These are tails. We want to pack them in boxes, divide by 16, because one box carries 16. So the answer you get it as a hundred and three, a hundred and three boxes, comma, nine, five. Remember, boxes are not sold in halves. So here we need a hundred and four full, full boxes. That's what we need. Okay. Question number five. Question number five requires us to also look at the next just C. Let me stage the next just C here. Next. 
next just see which is this one here all right um you read through this scenario as you read through please you count also ne? these two these are two people plus the three friends so all in all these are how many people five people that's what you have to know they are driving to snipers where is it found it's found in kwazulu natal they will travel from johannesburg and stay at eh, this place here and call afterwards i think they will continue all right we go and we see uh the next year see shows the route map to makosi use the information above and answer the question and use the information above at the next year see to answer the following questions write out the road number on which they will travel from exit 992 blue let's go there they are here they are here they enter using this and they said which number they because they are coming to this place here so which road number it will be r600 r6117 if the distance if the distance from and back to in the let's come back here from here to the the distance is this one here distance is six kilometers they're driving two kilometers from anywhere and the road split to the left okay the road splits to the left and the right state in which direction left or right they must drive Remember, they have come from this other side. They come, they come, they come. They reach there. They need to come here. Peace goes, but it does not, it ends no way. So we come here. So if they are here, please, you sit in their place. So this is the right hand side, and this is the left. Left side, they will go left. They will use left. They will use left. Let's look at the other question here. 5.4. 5.1.4. It is 16 kilometers from Hanvey to Makotsi. The distance between Mankaza and the hotel is 4,4 4 kilometers. I get how much kilometers after the split in the road. in the road and the hotel indicated age okay let's go there and we see they are telling us the total distance the total distance from Henry to Marcos is 16 from here up to here you've covered a distance of what that's the total distance 16 but they want to know what is the distance from the split this place here because from here up to there we have two kilometers then what about from here like that this is what we are finding because I said from here to there it's 4,4 4 kilometers so in your head it has to be two kilometers plus the nothing kilometers i'll call them h plus the 4,4 4 kilometers it should add up to 16 kilometers so the two adds with the four this much you get 6,4 4 kilometers plus the h kilometers that we are looking for which equals to 16 kilometers the 6,4 jumps over it becomes a minus so the distance covered here the same as 9.6 kilometers the distance from here up to the 
All right, let's look at question number 5.2. 5.2. Five point two. You look at the table clearly and you analyze it. When it offers two sleepers and six sleepers recommendation, give a possible reason why there is a surge on a single night stay. And you can say. Generate more income in one night. Generate more income and let me see night one night stay mm, to encourage to encourage people stay longer because if you stay longer you don't pay a side but when you sleep only one night you need to pay 300 to, sorry, 200 to 300. You know, as, uh, as such a, as a charge is an extra amount that is payable. It's like interest, but it's not interest. Oh, uh, another one would have been uh, for security reasons. If you happen to break anything in the motel, you need to pay for it. All right. Mm -hmm. Name. Name with a reason. A cottage you would recommend for the group to book. I would recommend them to take uh, six, six sleeper since they uh five people so they will all fit in one room where they will put yeah one cottage and it for security reasons they will all be safe all right 5.2 5.2 five point two Five point two five marks. It says now it states that the total cost for accommodation will be eight thousand one hundred if they stay in the cottage from Thursday to Saturday night. Verify showing all calculations whether a statement is valid. Um, okay, I will look at this. If they took the six sleeper from Thursday, that means midweek, midweek they pay they're going to pay for Thursday then Friday Saturday Thursday they pay 2640 money for because here they say the table given the table the rates given in the table are per cottage per night so per night they pay this much. So how many nights will they be? For, these are two, which is two thousand seven hundred. That times two.
this is how much they would have paid. Now it says that the total cost for accommodation will be either if they stay in the cottage from Thursday. To, they say the cottage, not cottages. So you can't use option because option one, if they stayed, uh, there are five people. If five people are split in two sleeper, that means they will need three, three sleepers together, which means 1.15 times three plus one, two, zero, five times three, which would be expensive. Why am I saying three? Because the one, the first one, it will take two people. Second one will take two people. The third one will take one person. So it becomes a little bit expensive. Yeah, they will be okay. They will pay 7,200. Sorry, this will be two, this will be two times. So you see how the two why am I not playing by two? Because we have Friday and Saturday. This is just Thursday. This will cater for. So the two sleep account is expensive. Okay, that's how we are showing it. And don't forget to conclude and say it's valid. Why am I concluding? Because they say verify showing away. whether his statement is what? Valid. I need to conclude and say it's valid. Get one mark. So we can't use two sleeper. All right, 5.3, and next just see the road that it shows the toll gates. Indicate whether the following statements are true or false. If the false, give a reason. This is false. There are other toll gates. On other roads. Let's look at the next just see. Here we are. This is N N3, you see. So we have also these other roads. N1 has has toll gates, the T stands for toll gates. Then when you come also this other side, uh which is it N17, it also has toll gates. M11 to M it has N2. It has a toll gate there, so it's not only on N, it's not on N3. N2 also has a toll gate, you see that. Okay, so who is the, on the east of Lesotho? East of Lesotho, so you come to Lesotho here. You draw a small compass. So this is our north, east, west, and south. Take note. If the campus doesn't, if the map doesn't have a campus, please, we shall always take the top part to be the north. So, east, and the place you're looking at, it's this other side, which is true, true. So, the answer there becomes true. The answer becomes 
True. State the view. State the view represented in the layout below. We shall say it's a roadmap. The distance from Johannesburg to Marcos is 888 kilometers. And the Land Rover covers this distance in seven hours. Calculate the average speed of this vehicle. Calculate the average speed of this vehicle. Calculate the average speed of this vehicle. What are you going to do? You know very well, look at the formula that's given you distance equals to speed times times, but you're looking for speed. So speed will equal to distance over time. Please always remember that. So our distance is already in kilometers. 588 divided by 7. So the average speed was 84 kilometers per hour. The accommodation, petrol and toll gate fees for this round trip is my course and will be shared equally amongst all the group members. Calculate the total cost per person. You may you may use uh, this the price of your petrol, accommodation and petrol and toll gate fees for the round trip. For the round simply means it's the same as what. Well return trip you go you come back so which 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 values are we going to multiply twice because we, there are some values for example the toll gates you go when you're going you times by you go you pay then as you come back you also pay the petrol fee we need to find out how much they paid for petrol fee that's times two also accommodation it's once off there's nothing much to do so we are going to say Accommodation, petrol, and toll gate. This we need to multiply by two. This is once because once you're there, you sleep once and you come back. Out. Okay, but before you pay for petrol, we need to know how much kilo kilo uh, how much distance was covered. So we shall see because we are going to use the fuel consumption rate which is stated already here the fuel consumption is six liters 6.42 liters per 100 kilometers now i find they will travel to land over the vehicle as a fuel consumption of this and the sitting layout so we go and we say 6.42 liters for each 100 kilometers together 6,42 liters for each 100 kilometers. But we need to know how much distance was covered. So here we shall say how much petrol shall we need. We shall take the distance covered 588 divided by 100 times 6, two. I'm looking for the amount of liters. 588 divided by 100 times 6,42. We have it as 37,7496. Multiply this by 2. These are number of liters. We have 75,499. These are liters. We multiply by the money. How much? We, I'm looking for the money for the fuel. How much? We need to be for the fuel. So fuel only we have we need to spend one thousand six hundred comma sixty-eight cents. This is petrol plus accommodation, which is one thousand sorry, eight thousand one hundred. Then we are going to add on the toll gates, which is two two into we are going to add these amounts here, 2 into 56 plus 77 plus 82 plus 58 plus 13,5. We have 
we are saying we are going to add all these values which is which will be 56 plus 77 plus 82 plus 58 plus 13 comma five how much are you paying for that yeah you would have paid 573 everything yes yeah, so let's add fuel money 1615 rand 68 cents plus 8100 plus the 573 so the amortized 10288 rand 68 cents so we divided this because there were five we divided by five and each person has to pay 2050 uh, rands, 57 rands, 74 cents. cents. And this will end our solution today.